हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर थ्री ऑफ यूनिट नंबर थ्री एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी सब बेसिक्स अबाउट फ्लो कंट्रोल वॉल्व सो द फ्लो कंट्रोल वॉल्व हैज सम स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन दैट टू रेगुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ अ लीनियर और रोटरी एक्चुएटर इन द सर्किट देन रेगुलेट द पावर अवेलेबल टू सब सर्किट्स बाय कंट्रोलिंग द फ्लो इन टू दोज सब सर्किट्स then uh, pro uh, proportionally dividing or regulating the pump flow to various branches of the circuit so uh, simple uh, flow restrictor type of a flow control valve is actually shown in this circuit so this is a you can say a flow restrictor uh, in this particular circuit this is a filter pump uh, this is a pressure relief valve and from pressure relief valve Uh, before the fluid goes to the uh, controlling element that is the direction control valve it has to pass through uh, a, a flow control valve which uh, con uh, regulates the amount of fluid which is uh, going to the circuit so from here uh, you can easily uh, uh, change the amount of fluid which is supplied to this actuator and thereby you can control the velocity of this actuator during the forward stroke so you can easily control the uh, velocity by which this particular weight is uh, getting lower to the ground okay so this is a simple uh, application of uh, flow control valve uh, so uh, there are pressure compensated and non pressure compensated type of uh, flow control valve so we'll study about uh, non pressure compensated type of flow control valve Uh, there the flow rate depends on the workload hence the speed of a piston cannot be defined accurately using non pressure compensated flow control valve when the working load varies so depending on uh, the type of load which you are using in the hydraulic circuit you need to change the type of uh, uh, flow control valve if the load is dynamic you have to use the pressure compensated type of flow control valve otherwise you if the load is static you can use the non pressure compensated type of flow control valve so uh, take a look at the uh, pressure compensated uh, type of flow control valve this is a symbol uh, now in this particular symbol uh, there are you can see that this is arrow this arrow indicates there is a pressure compensation and this particular symbol this uh, small uh, line and a dot just below that this indicates that it's a temperature compensation type okay uh, so uh, the uh, looking at this constructional diagram you can see that uh, the fluid uh, from come from the a port and it passes to b and uh, there is a pilot port which is uh, provided so uh, by uh, this adjusting knob you can change the opening uh, or the amount of fluid which is passing through this uh, b okay uh, and you can also change uh, this particular compensation spring pressure uh, tension by which you can change uh, this compensator spool setting and it will change the amount of uh, fluid which is passing through a to b okay so thus uh, you can easily control uh, the Uh, amount of fluid passing through from a to b so uh, there are a specific application of flow control valve uh, first we will study about meter in circuit the, the inlet flow into the cylinder is controlled using the flow control valve in the return stroke however the fluid can pass the needle valve and flow through the check valve and hence the return speed is not controlled this is used when the load characteristics are constant and positive so this is a meter in circuit and you can see that this is the uh, arrangement this arrangement you need to focus in this circuit this is a pressure control valve uh, sorry this is a flow control valve and it which the inbuilt check valve you can see that the fluid cannot easily uh, pass through this uh, flow control valve it has to pass through this flow restrictor because this uh, non written type of a check valve is uh, installed over here so fluid has to pass through this metered flow and it will go to the uh, cap end side of the actuator and thus uh, you can control the velocity at which uh, this uh, particular actuator extends while during retraction the fluid has to directly go to the rod end side of the actuator 
and it does not need to pass through this flow restrictor so return speed cannot be controlled so since we are, we are controlling the fluid which is going inside the actuator the arrangement is called as a meter in type okay the same type of circuit is can be assembled uh, from the rod end side of the actuator also okay so that we will study later uh, so there are some advantages of meter in circuit uh, you can get a finer speed control uh, it is high suitable for high pressure application and uh, uh, it gives a low level of friction and longer service life to the component but there is a disadvantage that uh, uh, it cannot be used with the hydraulic motor okay uh, then the pressure drops across the due, uh, due to throttling hence the pressure of the fluid fed into the actuator will be less than required that means there are many uh, there are there is a pressure loss okay uh, or energy loss in the system so uh, uh, naturally this will give uh, affect the efficiency of the circuit and meter in circuits are lesser efficient uh, are lesser efficient than the other uh, configurations like meter out so it cannot prevent the load from running away as it uh, in case of uh, drilling machine means uh, it is only useful to control the speed accurately but it will not able to control uh, running away of the load and uh, the heat uh, the most important is that heat generated due to the throttling is fed to the actuator this will cause heating of the actuator and uh, that will cause a, a more frequent maintenance of the actuator parts so in uh, meter out circuit you will find that uh, you have to focus on this arrangement in this circuit uh, so uh, in meter out circuit we are controlling the fluid which is coming out from the actuator okay you can see that fluid cannot uh, which is coming out from the actuator cannot easily pass it has to pass through this flow restrictor and then it goes to uh, tank so meter out circuit has its own advantage okay uh, so the advantages are no losses of the pressure uh, of the oil at the head of head end of the cylinder okay the actuator movement is more stable than meter in uh, the suit it is suitable for controlling the speed uh, of both cylinder as well as motor uh, the heat generated during throttling it uh, naturally it goes back to the tank uh, it provides a sp uh, positive speed control for the cylinder uh, uh, the pump work against the maximum pressure and the positive speed control and stable but there are some disadvantage that uh, even uh, at the no load the cylinder is subjected to the maximum pressure since the pump which is directly supplying the fluid goes to the actuator directly once it pass through the valve so it makes that particular cylinder subjected to high pressure at all time uh, then the piston rod side is subjected to the counter pressure which increases the area ratio uh, which uh, because of which the area ratio increases and this will increase the size of the actuator okay so if there is a space constraint meter out is not a good option uh, and then uh, uh, friction is also higher and if the flow control is uh, controller is installed at the uh, after the direction control valve leakage in direction control valve will affect the accuracy of the valve uh, so another type is a bleed off circuit uh, in this type of uh, flow control the additional line is run through the flow control valve uh, back to the tank to slow down the actuator some of the flow is uh, fed blow uh, uh, bleed through the uh, flow control valve into the tank before it reaches the actuator this reduces the flow into the actuator thereby reducing the speed of the extension of the actuator so you can see that uh, this fluid it has some uh, this bleed line okay so he, from here uh, the fluid die will not directly go to the actuator so uh, if the actuator speed is excess some of the fluid will uh, pass through the tank through this particular route okay so this will make uh, this is also called as a bleed off circuit ma majorly used for a speed control uh, so the uh, it has better efficiency uh, and it generate uh, the water the heat is generated that is uh, fed back to the tank but there are some disadvantage that uh, positive speed control with this is not possible uh, not suitable for accumulator units that means the circuits in which accumulators are there uh, this type of arrangement is not suitable the fluctuations of flow rate in the pump affects the speed of the actuator 
and the pump work against the load uh, it can be uh, so it is not efficient with the uh, variable displacement pump also okay so uh, because of these uh, these are some disadvantages for the bleed off circuit uh, so bleed off to the inlet of the cylinder uh, or motor that this is another type of a bleed off arrangement here you can see the bleed off arrangement is placed after the direction control valve okay this gives a better efficiency for the bleed off circuit uh, as compared to the earlier case now uh, let us consider about uh, hydraulic fuse what is hydraulic fuse okay hydraulic fuse is a safety device when uh, the line pressure exceeds the design capacity of a thin metal sheet it ruptures and connects it to the drain so this particular there is thin metal disc is there and uh, uh, from here the high pressure fluid is flowing and whenever uh, the uh, in the circuit the pressure uh, increases so so much that it can break this thin uh, thin sheet over here the fluid directly goes to the tank so it will act like just like a uh, what you can say a protecting device in the hydraulic circuit so that is why it is called as a fuse but there is a difference between a hydraulic fuse and pressure relief valve since we already studied about pressure relief valve there is a slight difference between these two so the hydraulic fuse is safety device and when the line pressure exceeds the design capacity of the thin metal sheet it ruptures and connects it to the drain whereas in case of pressure relief valve the pressure uh, relief valve is also a safety valve which cracks open when the fluid line pressure exceeds the set pressure once the pressure drops below the set pressure valve gets resets uh, that means uh, here this is the major difference that valve get reset pressure relief valve can get reset uh, automatically whereas flow, uh, hydraulic fuse you need to replace it yeah, uh, it is more often a protection device and uh, this uh, act this uh, pressure relief valve acts like a, a controlling device in the hydraulic circuit so uh, hydraulic fuse it is analogous to electrical fuse uh, which need to be replaced once the thin metal plate ruptures and uh, as I, as we said it is analogous to circuit breaker which can be reset like circuit breaker relief valve can also uh, uh, are available in different maximum uh, setting of pressure capacities uh, then uh, hydraulic fuse rupture is due to the plastic deformation of the thin metal sheet and in case of pressure relief valve opening of the valve is due to the set pressure which can be adjusted by the spring force so uh, all the content which is there in this lecture is available at this particular uh, website and uh, this is these are uh, nptl notes and this particular lecture is uh, this uh, video is made for non commercial purpose and this is a part of a classroom teaching so in next lecture uh, we will study about uh, some advanced uh, type of valves like uh, servo valves Okay, uh, so see you in next lecture. Thank you.